let us look at asymmetric information in the insurance market. Suppose that you have two types of drivers. You have safe drivers and you have unsafe drivers. And they both have the same demand function, which is equal to Q. Q equals 20 minus 2P, which can also be rewritten as P equals 10 minus Q over 2. And note that unsafe drivers have the exact same demand function. Now we can draw this for both types of drivers. We have P and Q, P and Q. So we start at 10 for the, let's assume that here we have the um, safe drivers and here we have the unsafe drivers and then this starts at 10 so here we have the demand function for the two drivers now if there is no asymmetric information and assuming a perfectly competitive market then let us say that the safe drivers, since they are, have fewer accidents, that the marginal cost of safe drivers are $2 and the marginal cost of unsafe drivers are $6. If the insurance company can observe if a driver is safe or unsafe, then they can charge accordingly to the marginal cost since we assume that the insurance market is perfectly competitive. In this case, they're charging $2 for the safe drivers. I say they set the price at $2 and hence the quantity demanded is going to be 16. And in the case of unsafe drivers, they charge according to the marginal cost. They're charging $6 and the quantity is going to be 8. Given those numbers and given that the marginal costs are constant, marginal cost constant means we do not have a producer surplus, we only have consumer surplus, then the consumer surplus for the safe drivers under different cost is equal to 8 times 16 times 1 half is equal to 64 and for the unsafe drivers their consumer surplus is 4 times 8 times one half, which is equal to 16. If the insurance company cannot differentiate between the two drivers and they have to charge a single price, and let's assume that they are charging four dollars, So if they're charging $4 for the safe driver and $4 for the unsafe drivers, then in this case, the quantity demanded by safe drivers and unsafe drivers is going to be 12. Now, in the case of no price discrimination, we can again calculate the consumer surplus. 
In this case, the consumer surplus is going to be 6 times 12 times 1 half. And the same is true for the unsafe drivers. 6 times 12 times 1 half. And hence the consumer surplus is going to be 36 in both cases. Now, if you compare this to the case or the social welfare, if we have price discrimination, then the social welfare for both drivers is going to be 64 plus 16 is equal to 80. In the case of no asymmetric information and Social welfare in the case of asymmetric information, then they can only charge one single price. It is going to be 74, 72. And hence, we see that with price discrimination or without asymmetric information, the social welfare is higher than if there is asymmetric information present. And hence, you can see that there is inefficiency caused by the fact that we have asymmetric information.